America. We've been mentioning this all, all morning long. Okay. Uh, 420 being the day today, April 20th. Uh, CBS News poll released a study that shows that 61% of Americans now think marijuana should be legal. Mm-hmm. That, by the way, is a new high. Uh, ca, 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 ca. <laughs> uh, legalized recreational medical pot and medical pot in Colorado hit $1.3 billion in sales last year. Uh, it's good for business and it's good for budget strapped cities. In Denver, in the suburb of Edgewater, there are six pot shops drawing businesses from nearby cities that opted not to allow marijuana sales. So the people are going into these towns. Mm -hmm. Each town can choose to whatever. In the town of uh, 5,300 people in Edgewater, it is generating $1.4 million in sales from marijuana. That's 20% of its annual budget. Money for repaving 12 miles of streets. And the old city hall will be soon replaced with a $10 million complex that will include a police station and a library that will be finished next year. The town that Bob built? <laughs> yes. There you go. Um, about 110 miles south of Denver in Pueblo, they're also benefiting from marijuana taxes. The county gets uh, its sales tax when marijuana is harvested and sold to pot shops statewide. The money is now giving college kids a first in American history. Pot Funded scholarships from Pueblo, Colorado. <laughs> Pueblo on the South Range is where a lot of the farming, it's the farmers are sort of growing right. their their pot. Um, uh, freshman, uh, want, this freshman want, wants to be a teacher. She's getting a thousand dollars a semester at Colorado State University in Pueblo. She's comfortable with the money that helps her with her continuing education. I don't yeah. think without this scholarship, I could continue my education without taking out loans and worrying about how to pay them back. And finally, Kelly Jackson, okay. you want to go to the, in the town of Parachute, Colorado, right off Highway 70, there is a new, first of its kind, drive through pot shop opening up today. You knew that was bound to happen. Owner 58-year-old Mark Smith has opened up a drive through <laughs> pot shop. He used to own pawn shops. He owned 23 of them. He sold them out to Easy Pawn, and he decided to open up a drive through pot shop. It is called the Tumbleweed Dispensary right off Highway 70. No one under the age of 21 can be in the car. Oh. The town fully supportive of the drive through marijuana uh, shop. When I was a kid, they had dairy barns. Did you ever see what a dairy barn is? No. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. You drive through, and it was like a fake barn. It was like a faux barn. And you drive <laughs> really? in, and you get milk, bread, and eggs. It was like a drive through deli. And you, I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. That was in New York? I was like, you could drive there, and they give you milk right in your car? <laughs> it's like, that's the coolest thing in the world. You don't have to leave your car to get milk? And now, now look. And now you don't have to leave your car to get marijuana. Oh, so times it went, have drastically It went from changed. the corner... Knocking on the, you know, having having finesse walk up to your door and, and giving you marijuana to now go through the tumbleweed drive through all legal in the state of Colorado. Mm. National Weed Day. Those are some of the numbers inside <laughs> National Weed Day. 732, Big 550.